happy morning to everyone welcome to my channel biotech info and today based on the major chunk of the students have a problem that how to crump the vast syllabus so i'm here to give you a tip to clear the syllabus in a very short period stay tuned students i already suggested you that if you want to crack the neat examinations you have to refer refer ncrt books only see whatever the books which are present in the market for that the further is ncrt books we can say like that and here when i have analyzed the 2017 18 and 19 question papers of neat examination i came across that 80% of the questions in this neat examination paper are from ncrt books only and 20% which is out of the ncrt syllabus but if you are perfect you when you are solving this 80% of ncrt questions then it is easy for you to solve the remaining 20% questions and i also observed that in the 11th and 12th standard in ncrt books if you take 44 questions are coming from the 11th standard and 46 questions you are going to get from the 12th standard out of the 90 questions from the biology section you are going to get from this books only first tip why we have to refer ncrt books only you got a clear cut information now the second one is how we have to read this books now in this particular short period of time please don't go in the depth of the concepts not at all required a descriptive way you have to read only in a precise manner or in an overview or in the form of a summary or in the form of a statements you have to read the syllabus and few chapters are there in the biology section which are very very important and i will make you to mark for that particular chapters only you have to go in depth of the concept and in detail you have to read for them next the third point comes is ncrt books the concepts will be very very small if you start reading on day 1 it will take for you like one and a half hour to complete one chapter but if you are going on consistently reading for 6 and 1/2 hours to 7 hours then perfectly five chapters you will finish it because concepts are very very small if you start understanding the concept if you start understanding the terminology of that particular concept then it will be very easy for you and also i want to say you that if day one you are taking one and a half hour and completing one chapter no problem day two try for two chapters day three try for the three chapters then when you are getting a confidence obviously when you are focused when you are concentrated when you are consistently reading then your confidence level will increase at that time what happened day 5th you will read around 6 to 7 chapters because it is a very short period of time we have to manage all the chapters we have to cover in physics bio as well as the chemistry and mainly when we are going to say about the neat medical examination this bio part is very 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 important and very crucial to get the score as well as a good grade right and uh, and also i want to say you that when your confidence levels are going to increase appreciate yourself that you are doing better because you make yourself as a best criticizer really we are only the best criticizers of ourselves so appreciate yourself that i have did it and next what you do whatever the food item which you like most na go and eat it then what happens your brain will become more sharper and will be more confident follow this take a paper pen if you want to know that in which chapters you are going to get how many questions right and in 2017 in 18 and 19 i have analyzed the paper and i have given you that how many questions are going to come from the which chapter like biological classification three questions you are going to get 
plant kingdom six questions you are going to get and cell structure four questions you are going to get cell structure means you can uh, like a cell division based on cell division or biomolecules on that you uh, that chapters you have to be uh, clear and next morphology one question animal kingdom three questions and plant kingdom six questions and you have to go through the human physiology a lot because 16 questions you have got in 2017 need a medical examination paper so you please highlight it to market this human physiology and this chapter you have to go deeply conceptually descriptive way and you have to get the concept exactly and terminology also you have to get into about the neural control as well as the digestion absorption chemical coordination breathing and locomotion on these particular topics they have given the overlapping as well as the direct and indirect questions you know that how it is going to be asked next one comes to the 12th standard one in this principle of inheritance five questions you have got molecular basis of the uh, inheritance is one question human reproduction one question sexual reproduction in flowering plants five questions microbes in human welfare three questions human health and diseases three question evolution three questions biotechnology three questions so totally in this particular 12th standard you have to keep a key note and mark it that i have to do and do it like principle of inheritance genetics you have to damn good you should be in the genetics parts next comes to the 2018 paper again when you check uh, when i have analyzed it cell structure uh, uh, we got five questions and bi uh, biological classification six questions and uh, next one is a structural organization six questions and next one human physiology 15 questions living world two questions biomolecule one question evolution three questions ecology 12 questions genetics 11 question biotechnology three questions human uh, health and welfare that is three questions and reproduction four questions so here uh, first in 2017 they have most they have concentrated on human physiology in 2018 also human physiology and 2019 you have got a more uh, questions you are going to get from the ecology so divide the chapters like that give the criteria the first one human physiology then genetics then ecology then cell structure and its functions then diversity in the living world then reproduction and human health and diseases then remaining chapters you can just overview it summary by reading the summary it's more than enough that's how you have to mark you have to divide then you will feel comfortable and you will get confidence that yes i can clear the syllabus in this short period of time next one always i used to say you that you have to refer ncrt books only and you have to do daily 45 pyqs and mcqs without fee and go through the diagrams important diagrams important flow charts important uh, uh, abbreviations etc and next uh, what is that don't get panic keep going and today is actually my third chapter that is about the anatomy of a flowering plant in that you are going to get three questions according to my analysis and 12 marks it is going to score and uh, when you are seeing about the weightage in percentile six percent and what you have to read means you have to read the hardwood saphood bark cambium cortex vascular bundles and also the dicot and monocot root and simple tissues and complex tissues keep going all the best